Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we have a new premium tank. Yep, this is this time of the year fellas. When we are having plenty of the premium tanks, when we are having happy loot mechanics and everything, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but this is not video about this. This is video featuring the Torn Wagon uh, and in my knowledge you can get this tank only from the loot boxes. Uh, I haven't played a single game with this vehicle, so it's very, very hard to say um, is it going to be good vehicle or bad vehicle, speaking from the appearance, but I can tell you that, uh, I can tell you one thing, it looks very, very similar to the Concept 1B, and Concept 1B is one of the most powerful tanks in the game, uh, although once again, um, this vehicle is slower, this vehicle view range is actually pretty bad fellas view range for the tier a tank um and whenever you are not reaching the let's say 445 meters with a very very nice crew this is quite uh, pure sadness if you would ask me um other than that what i noticed while preparing this tank for action i noticed a uh, gun Standard ammunition APCRs, 248mm of penetration with the standards, that's good. 1000 shell uh, 1, meter shell velocity, that's good. Uh, price is kind of expensive, but now pay attention at gold. Close to 300mm of penetration with the gold. Shell velocity, 1450 meters. Whew, uh, yeah, this is going to be quite a journey, fellas. Anyways, let's go to the couple first games to check out how this vehicle is performing. And once again, I know it's relatively slow for a heavy tank. Uh, I know you can play hold down with this vehicle. Uh, I know you have a decent gun, but you have no view range whatsoever. So probably uh, speaking about the field modifications, right? Uh, for a second setup, I would have probably optics, rammer and stabilizer. That's what I would have probably. So yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's start our journey and let's test out this beast. Uh, frontally, Whenever you are fully hold down, uh, this tank should have shit on a farmer. Also, whenever you are using your gun depression, right? As you can see, this is definitely not easy penetratable, although this is kind of flat angle and... Uh, Lower plate is definitely not looking like uh, it is super duper hyper turbo good. Plus on top of that I believe I need to highlight the DPM of this tank and DPM is pretty much T34 levels of DPM and that's no bueno. Um, so yeah, this is looking weird, weird, weird vehicle fellas. Anyways, let's see. What is my main mission? My mission is to see uh, someone in the very first minute of the battle because we have a couple of the light tanks and as you can see one of our lights is just simply making a hardcore pressure like this. So what is our goal? Our goal is to support him. That's about it. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. This is looking very very weird fellas. Hmm. Yeah, speed of this vehicle, it is definitely not solid banana out of 10. I can promise you that. Looking into, um, looking into all this, fellas, as you can see, the tank is slow. But I truly mean it, slow. Wait, and now. Oy, oy. And the gun handling is definitely not looking the finest one. Whew. I don't know. First impressions in the first minute, this is not going to be the tank for me. I can tell you that. From the very first impressions, this is not looking like the tank for me. It is not really fast for a um, for a heavy tank night, and you know I love fast vehicles. Um, view range is pretty damn bad, unfortunately, and probably this tank will shine the most whenever you are going to have the uh, full gold ammunition loaded, whenever you are going to play with the full bond equipment, uh, this is probably going to be the way when this tank will shine. Other than that, this is going to be 
very, very, very interesting vehicle, right? By saying interesting, I don't really think it is going to float uh, um, many player style. At least that's what I think. Anyways, aim, 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 aim. And aim time is also not very good. And aim time is also not very good, my friends. Okay, I am very, very well aware of the art as well as don't worry. I am paying a humongous attention at this. And um, what we want to do, we want to wait until enemy heavy tanks will start making a bit of the pressure for us, right? Um, that's what I would love to see. And we have a double penetrator. By the way, I believe you can have a better view range even with a double penetrator, which says a lot about the tank view range overall. Anyways, um, aim, aim, aim. Can we hit this guy? Not really. I'm pretty sure I'm spotted all the time. I am pretty sure I am spotted all the time because the uh, camo rating of this vehicle is nothing but eh, you know, eh, nothing more than that. Um, in a way, what I would love to see, I would love to see the armor test in a way. That's what I would love to see. Patience. Maybe I'm not spotted. Hmm. I can't make too much pressure for them. The double penetration will simply um, double tap me and this is going to be game over. So I cannot afford this, fellas. I just simply cannot afford this. Let's go with the gold ammunition from now on. Okay, luckily we are not spotted. At least we wasn't spotted at the time and that's fine. At least now we know um, in this position we can stay relatively safe. Um, it is definitely a misplay from my side, fellas. This is the very first battle of the day. And as you can see, my brain is not working uh, to the full extent or to the full potential. But that's completely fine. I am used to that. I know how my brain is working overall. And uh, I am not crying over that. Believe me, I am not. Uh, double penetrator, how are you doing? I would love to see him peeking here, but as you can see, he is not up for peeking. That's fine. Let's try to relocate a bit like this, and we will try to um, play this position. Hopefully, it will work just fine. Hopefully, it will work just fine, fellas. Okay, so, Pro Mr. Progetto, are you going to peek like this? Hmm. The thing is, I want to be more involved, but in the same time, I don't want to be more involved. I know that's uh, a conflict of the, of the brain, but this is exactly how it looks like, and this is exactly how I feel like. I want to be aggressive, and I do not want to be aggressive in the same time. Okay. Hi there, Mr. Tiger. Beautiful shot. Um, Gold ammunition is definitely going to be more powerful of this vehicle, okay? It doesn't really matter how you are going to look into this. A gold ammo is going to be so much more powerful than a standard ammunition. Uh, and that's a fact. And I assume majority of the players are going to go with a full gold spam and that's it. And what can you do for them? Um, also, one more thing uh, which I definitely want to highlight. I do not like this tank. It's not my cup of tea. I am not going to give this tank amazing rating. Uh, your view range is low. Your gun handling, at least in the first game, is definitely not the most accurate one. Your DPM kind of bad. Uh, you don't really have a great mobility. I mean, fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I just simply cannot rate this vehicle very, very high. And you know exactly what I am talking about. Luckily, our team is winning uh, the other flank. That's very, very good. That's very good. Okay, can we spot this uh, this gentleman here? This is the question. Hi there. Bam, straight in the face. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Rip engine, I guess. The very first hit we received, and Arta is very dangerous for this tank. Lorraine, as Arta, tier 7, uh, that gentleman is not doing any damage whatsoever. But for this tank, yep, as you can see that yourself, uh, he's smacking it for 300. So, uh, let's cap everything out what we notice in the very first battle. Um, first things first, uh, Arta is smacking this tank for a humongous amount of the damage. Uh, this tank is slow, the gun handling is not looking very accurate. 
Yeah, fellas, I don't really know. I would love to say something good, but the first battle is definitely proving me wrong. Um, I believe where this tank is going to feel the most confident is going to be obviously uh, hold down position, right? And from the hold down position, you are farming enemy forces. This is uh, this is only one play what uh, what I imagine will work uh, for this vehicle. But in order to get into the hold down positions at the first place, I would say you need to. Um, you need to have some speed, so probably turbo might be a very, very valuable option for this vehicle. But if you are not using ventilation, your gun handling will become even uh, bigger kaku in a way. So yeah, this is uh, this is very, very, very interesting situation. By saying interesting, uh, uh, it is not looking like this tank is going to be my style or many, many other style whatsoever. I would probably compare this tank to the T. 34 honestly after the very first game i would compare this tank to the t-34 pretty much uh, with a bit more armor though with a bit more armor okay so what is the plan what is the hope and what is the dream i am going to try to make pressure for this pantera for obvious reasons and probably this guy just spotted me but i literally don't give a flying f and i am going to eliminate this gentleman from the game i assume he is sitting in the same position where he was before at least i don't really think he actually relocated so let's go for no aim shot like this maybe we are going to kill him but unfortunately it is not the case that's fine fellas we have all time in the world of tanks pay attention at the speed speed is the biggest uh, down factor for me on this vehicle uh yeah artas is smacking this tank very very hard have a tank slow and getting easily smacked by the artas yikes fellas if you would ask me this is not a good combination of the things if you would ask me this is not a good combination of the things my friends maybe you know in the very first battle we got quite unlucky by saying we got quite unlucky we have definitely not the best uh, uh, map ever right in fact speaking about the map we have the open map where uh, speed is definitely um, one of the most important parts um, and so on so on but fellas pay attention how fast arta is shredding this tank Pretty much Arta is beating the living crap out of this vehicle like there is no tomorrow. Um, 160, 140, 120 and keep this in mind this is the pretty much tier 6 Arta gun right so keep this in mind it's not like uh, um, this is a uh, this is an absolutely amazing Arta so you can only imagine how the things would look like if the tier 10 Jeff is hitting you in the face. Yikes fellas yikes. No bueno. Definitely no bueno, my friends. I'm not impressed. I am not impressed. For me, it is uh, not the Torwagen, but it is Shitwagen. That's uh, how I can describe this vehicle after very first battle. But that's good, fellas. I would say uh, this is very, very good thing. Why am I saying so? The thing is... Uh, I would rather have a shit premium tank in the game compared to the broken premium tank in the game. Don't you think so? So this vehicle, yikes, hell no. Uh, it is not looking great tank. Anyways, first battle, 2000 damage, 1000 assisting damage. We are making uh, 55,000 profits, not counting mission, uh, which is not bad, honestly. Which is not bad. Hmm. Okay, let's go for another game. I am very, very, very curious how this tank will perform in the um, in the city map, right? Or where we actually need to play hold down. For example, in this map we can play hold down pretty well. And I think uh, usually, fellas, I must admit I don't really like the heavy line, uh, but I am going to go into the heavy line with this vehicle just to check out how this tank will perform in the. Um, in the hold down position also one more very very important thing in nowadays world of tanks everything is about the speed and this tank simply do not have one i think after this game i'm going to stack the 
simple turbo in it because not everyone has bone turbo and we will check out how this vehicle is looking like in this kind of situation okay um that's the plan that's the hope that's the dream and now let's go light tank just smacked us in the butt no nice three two one bam but this tank hits Whenever this tank hits, 400 is a very, very significant amount of the damage, you know? For example, if you are comparing this vehicle against the, let's say, T-32 or something, uh, the tank who can play with a um, fully hold down, yeah. Hi, CC. What's up? Zgeel! Uh, this, is, this is a good one. Uh, it is always a pleasure for me to meet you fellas in the game and uh, uh, if you are seeing me in the battle don't be uh, afraid to say Zdorov skill how are you doing or high skill or whatever else right don't be afraid I do not bite yet our light tank is effed I cannot make pressure like this because here I will get slaughtered from the hill. We lost the hill already. It's not worth it, fellas. Believe me, there is plenty of the situations when it is just simply not worth it to make pressure like this. And it truly isn't. And in this situation, I am going to try to uh, play on the field. I don't really think they have many forces on this side, honestly. And I think the tank I am going to try to approach is Samoa. We have plenty of the support. Uh, we have Progetto, we have Borat, we have Tiger 2. Um, so what is my uh, goal? My goal is to uh, pretty much take this position here. Hopefully it will work just fine. Um, at this point we see Oho making a hardcore pressure. But uh, at the time I did not realize that he is going to go so aggressively. If I would knew this I would go together with him. But eh. Oh well, what can you do? There is no medicine from stupidity. Da, da. Here we go. We have the Samoa here trying to hit Samoa. 450 in the face for Samoa. Yikes. This is a big boy alpha damage, fellas. This is a big boy alpha damage for sure. Meanwhile, we have a light tank in the middle of the field. Uh, now the question is, can we smack this light tank? Sure we can. 440 in the face. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And now we are trying to flank the enemies. But once again, pay attention at, at how this... Um, at the speed of this vehicle. How slow this tank actually is. It is it is super slow vehicle. You are barely able to tar 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 in front. Ay ay ay. And keep this in mind. The view range is not that great. I don't know, fellas. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't call this tank good. I am considering how to rate this vehicle on index, and my first impressions: this tank is playable. Nothing more than that. I'm curious what you have to say and what is going to be your opinion with all this, because once again, looking into the speed, it is. Looking into the speed, fellas, turbo is pretty much going to be must on this vehicle. Um, and looking at, into the view range, you kind of want to have optics as well. I don't even know. I would love to say something different, but unfortunately I cannot. Anyways, as you can see, our team is uh, already winning this game by humongous margin, and plus DPM of this vehicle is not very great. Anyways. Wow. Wow, fellas. Yeah, I have a feeling we are going to have a special name for this uh, tank. Trash wagon. And gun is not very accurate. Ain't an nachren. I mean, holy bananas from Banana Land. I want to say something nice, fellas. I truly do, but um, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't. I'm here not to say... Uh, uh, fellas, you know me. This is not a... No bullshit channel in a way, right? If, if the... If this is a rotten apple, I am going to say this is rotten apple. I'm not going to sell it as a, um, as a, let's say, the passion fruit or something, right? Uh, if it is rotten apple, it's rotten apple. I don't like it. I'm sorry, fellas. Two games, and I truly dislike this vehicle already. 
and if uh, if this tank is main selling point of the um, of the boxes i can tell you one thing this is no bueno then it is no bueno uh, for sure anyways a second battle done gg finito um wow 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 so far not good i mean you might think but skill it's 2.5 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage it's not necessarily that bad uh sure thing fellas but for uh, uh but believe me tier 8 can do so much more than this for example i know in the boxes right we are going to have skoda um t56 that is a tank this one Simply no. Anyways, what do we have? We have 2.5 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage. We are second by the damage. We are third by experience. And we are making 78 thousand profits. This is actually decent amount of the profits. This is decent amount of the profits considering how uh, how everything is looking like and how slow it is. Anyways, let's try to change ventilation for turbo. Uh, I think I think this could be an option for this vehicle turbocharger let's go rip ventilation and what we are going to do now we are going to try to use the turbo directive right I think I have some of those from the ranked battles I know not everyone is having this but this is only for testing purposes and to check out how this vehicle is going to look like in this way um, speaking about view range 400 meters view range it is a tier 6 view range considering uh, uh, what kind of crew we have and everything so oh boy so oh boys this is not a um, ideal option I can promise you that and if uh, uh, your biggest question mark and your biggest fear in the game is to be slow, uh, this tank is the one which you should um, avoid and be afraid of. Uh, let's say like this, uh, not by being afraid of, uh, you know, in the battle, but go into the game with it because it's just simply too slow. Anyways, let's see what this vehicle is capable of in the city map. Uh, we have the highway, so obviously our goal will be to reach this position here and hopefully uh, the things will go well hopefully with a turbo it feels just tiny touch faster but once again probably it feels faster because we are going down the hill I would not act surprised if defender would actually overtake me um, I would not act surprised especially when we are going up the hill and we are using the turbo with this vehicle so keep this in mind Watch this, fellas. Defender is known for being a slow tank, right? Defender is known for being a slow tank. And pretty much we are uh, going together with a defender in the best case scenario. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. Yeah, probably the main trading point of, uh, point of this vehicle is going to be armor and nothing more than that. And fellas, keep this in mind. We have a turbocharger and defender is pretty much uh, keeping us uh, keeping up with us. This is extremely important thing to highlight. Plus, I would say defender um, defender is going to be stronger uh, if we are talking about the armor wise, right? Anyways, we are in position. Let's not cry too much about this vehicle yet. And let's wait for a very first shot. Maybe we can smack someone in the face, right? That's what I want to see. Hi. Critical hit to the Russian side. Critical hit to the Russian side, fellas. Yeah. No, 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 fellas. No, 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 no. Alpha damage feels nice, but that's about it. IS6 is trying to be involved here, obviously. I want to escape from here. I repeat, I want to escape from here. I want to take a proper hold down position. I think this is where this tank is going to shine because other than that, I would not call it a shining star, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
step by step, little by little, fellas, we are getting in position where we want to play. And we want to play exactly here. So from this position right here, we are sitting uh, pretty well hold down. Once again, hold down is where you want to be with this vehicle. And now we are trying to hit the cupola of the defender. How I imagine um, making this tank work is to spam the full gold, to use the bond turbo and turbo directive. Um, and in certain situations like um, maps where you can actually spot something and where view range matters, uh, you are using the... Um, um, you are simply using uh, uh, optics instead of stabilizer. That's all I can imagine with this tank. Okay, now look at this. This is a highlight of the vehicle. We are playing hold down pretty much. This is a hold down play of this vehicle. Okay, this is not a hold down play of this vehicle. That was quite idiotic by me. I cannot blame the tank for this. That was stupidity from my side. I apologize, fellas. That was simply stupid. Art and coming. I can hear that. Yeah. I hate this tank. I hate this tank with a passion, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a shit. Uh, obviously, I messed up by any means uh, at this position. Uh, fellas, by any means, I messed up uh, a big time, right? Good penetration, though. Look at this. We can shred him uh, via him playing cooldown. So, at least that's something. Yeah, I don't like this time. Okay, one more game after this, and we are done for today with this vehicle. Uh, I don't like it. Okay, let's teleport to the end of this game. And we are back, fellas. Um, unfortunately, we are losing this game, but this is completely fine. I messed up a bit. Well, not a bit. I overpeaked completely, right? Because I thought I have enough gun depression, but unfortunately, it wasn't the case. I wonder gun depression is minus 10 on this vehicle or minus 8? Um, because for me, it feels like be um, between minus 8 and minus 10, right? Let's see. A minus 10 gun depression. Okay, fair enough. Anyways, not greatest game by me. I messed up completely. Uh, this gentleman did a great job. He played very, very well and he beat the living crap out of uh, uh, out of our uh, team. That's completely fine. It is understandable. Anyways, what do we have, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? We have quite bad performance. Uh, we have 300 experience. We are third by the damage and like six by experience. That's okay. And we made 32,000 profits so yeah i don't know fellas i truly don't know i would love to say something nice but unfortunately i cannot let's go for one more one more game with a torn wagon or maybe uh, i think the the name which i'm going to give for this tank is going to be trash wagon okay listen this is the best map you can get with this vehicle there is no better map to get for this tank than this. Westfield, short distance to go and to fight here, we need to get at least four to 5,000 damage in this game as a beer minimum, fellas. Uh, obviously, uh, knowing where gaming balance, they did one very, very bad thing here. And I can tell you exactly what they have done bad. They gave enemies two conquerors which can play hold down and we do not have tier nine who could play hold down. 257, no, E75, no. There is literally no one who can play hold down in our team. So this is definitely a bad thing. Um, but obviously we'll see how the things will go. And everything is depending how good those conquerors are. Everything is depending uh, on this vehicle. Okay. Step by step, little by little. Skill! Okay, once again. Mm, Conqueror is going to be a big fat trouble, fellas. Yeah. Gun handling. Hop, 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 hop. I must dance with the baboon, fellas. There is no other chance and there is no other way. Yeah, probably you know what I am thinking, right? You 
you know what I am thinking. Holy banana, such a piece of shit gun. Holy effing F. I'm spamming gold from now on. Holy bananas this tank. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of a kind shit. This is one of a kind shit. Relax, take it easy, we got this. Step by step, little by little. Gold penetration is completely fine. Gold penetration is not fine. Gold penetration is absolutely amazing. That's what I meant to say. You see, when you have penetration like this, you can go ham, right? Type 4 gear is definitely not going to be a threat for you by any means, right? So at least this is something, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. At least this is something. But once again, um, take a look at the DPM, fellas, and take a look at the other things. Um, the thing which I really need to highlight about the situation, fellas, uh, keep this in mind. Like I said before, speaking about this balance, right, about this game overall, um, I told you this is very, very bad balance from our gaming side. They gave two conquerors who can play hold down, and our team do not have the tanks who can play hold down. So it is not a big surprise we are losing this this game by such a humongous margin um, and once again nothing what we can change about this we can only accept this and uh, take one for the team uh, do I feel bad about my performance honestly not so much I am feeling relatively fine with all of this um, there is nothing what we could do differently in this battle and I am simply accepting this my friends and I am simply accepting this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. 2 to 10, this is this is what I'm talking about by saying where gaming balance is just simply bad. You cannot put into the match two conquerors against the two five sevens. It is impossible. Those are not the same vehicles. Um, conquerors can play hold down here like there is no tomorrow and the 257 can take only one for the team this is the whole mentality of uh, um, we're gaming balance fellas it sucks I'm telling you uh, I believe the kid and gardener which literally started going to the kid and garden and he's four years old he could do better job he would understand banana uh, is matching banana not uh, apple you know you get the point what I'm saying but it is how it is Anyways, let's teleport to the end of this game. Okay, we are back. So, let's see what do we have. We managed to barely do 2.6 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage. Once again, very, very bad matchmaking from our gaming side. It's not about map. It is about matchmaking, fellas. And I need to... Uh, agree with this so what is my uh, solution to this problem match conqueror against the conqueror uh not 257 against the conqueror right anyways 2.6 thousand damage uh we are top by the damage we are top by experience as you can see conqueror farmed them all and two uh, 263 farmed a lot good for him for this gentleman anyways in the end of the day we made 30 thousand profits by uh by spamming the full gold in this game uh, but it was wasn't very enjoyable fellas truly uh, the lack of the dpm is no bueno it is slow i don't like the armor of this tank that much um and it is not my tank, fellas. Uh, for uh, first impressions, I am rating this tank as a playable and the best case scenario. Nothing more than that. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.